Preliminary English Test Listening There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. What time is the man's appointment? Hello. I was wondering if I could get my hair cut sometime today. Certainly, sir. Let me have a look. Mm, I'm afraid we're quite busy today. We don't have anything this morning. Our hairdressers are all booked until 12.30. What about this afternoon? We have an empty hour at 1.30 and another at 3.30? Uh, 3.30 then. 1.30 would be great, but I don't think I can get into town by then. OK. We'll see you later today, then. Now listen again. Hello. I was wondering if I could get my hair cut sometime today. Certainly, sir. Let me have a look. Mm, I'm afraid we're quite busy today. We don't have anything this morning. Our hairdressers are all booked until 12.30. What about this afternoon? We have an empty hour at 1.30 and another at 3.30? 3 uh, 3.30 then. 1.30 would be great, but I don't think I can get into town by then. OK. We'll see you later today then. 2. Why is the woman going to be late for work? Hiya, I'm just calling to say I might be a little late this morning. I collected the car from the garage earlier and was hoping to get in on time, but I've just had a message to say my son's motorbike has been stolen. I've got to drive back and wait for the police to come round. Uh, could someone meet my visitor at the station for me? He's arriving on the nine o'clock train and I don't want him to think we've forgotten about him. Now listen again. Hiya, I'm just calling to say I might be a little late this morning. I collected the car from the garage earlier and was hoping to get in on time, but I've just had a message to say my son's motorbike has been stolen. I've got to drive back and wait for the police to come round. Uh, could someone meet my visitor at the station for me? He's arriving on the nine o'clock train, and I don't want him to think we've forgotten about him. 3. Which sport was the man unable to watch on TV? Did you enjoy the match on Saturday? Yes, it was a great game, and we won, which made it worth standing out in the rain all afternoon. I could have watched it on TV, but I fancied going to the game. And what about the basketball? I know, I was hoping to see that on TV when I got home, but the kids were watching a film. I did get to see the swimming later in the evening, though, after the children had gone to bed. Now listen again. Did you enjoy the match on Saturday? Yes, it was a great game, and we won, which made it worth standing out in the rain all afternoon. I could have watched it on TV, but I fancied going to the game. And what about the basketball? I know, I was hoping to see that on TV when I got home, but the kids were watching a film. I did get to see the swimming later in the evening, though, after the children had gone to bed. 4. Where are floods expected to cause problems? If you're thinking of travelling over the next 24 hours, you may need to pay attention to the weather. The heavy rain we've had over the past two days has meant there are likely to be floods, which will cause problems for travellers. Police have informed us they aren't expecting problems on the motorways at the moment, but trains may be affected if water levels continue to rise. 
We've had no reports of flights being canceled at the airports, but please keep listening in case we have any updates. Now listen again. If you're thinking of traveling over the next 24 hours, you may need to pay attention to the weather. The heavy rain we've had over the past two days has meant there are likely to be floods, which will cause problems for travelers. Police have informed us they aren't expecting problems on the motorways at the moment, but trains may be affected if water levels continue to rise. We've had no reports of flights being canceled at the airports, but please keep listening in case we have any updates. 5. How many people are going to the party so far? So we need to decide on food for the party. Any ideas? Yes, I know. I was going to order something this afternoon. I've got the numbers of about seven different companies. I'll call them all and try to get the best price. But I need to know how many people are coming. I've invited about 30 people, but I've only heard back from about 18 of them. I'm not sure about the others. Maybe we should wait a few more days before organising the food. Now listen again. So we need to decide on food for the party. Any ideas? Yes, I know. I was going to order something this afternoon. I've got the numbers of about seven different companies. I'll call them all and try to get the best price. But I need to know how many people are coming. I've invited about 30 people, but I've only heard back from about 18 of them. I'm not sure about the others. Maybe we should wait a few more days before organising the food. 6. What does the woman finally buy to drink? Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, I just ordered this coffee, but I'm afraid it's almost cold. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you another one. Thanks, but the coffee looks a bit too strong for me. Is there any chance of having tea instead? No problem. Anything else, madam? Would you like a glass of water to go with the hot drink? That's OK, thanks. I had one with the coffee. Now listen again. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, I just ordered this coffee, but I'm afraid it's almost cold. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you another one. Thanks, but the coffee looks a bit too strong for me. Is there any chance of having tea instead? No problem. Anything else, madam? Would you like a glass of water to go with the hot drink? That's OK, thanks. I had one with the coffee. 7. When does the caller want to move in to the flat? Hello. I'm just phoning about the flat I went to look at yesterday. I really like it and I'm planning to come in today to ask a few questions before I sign the contract. Your colleague told me it was possible to move into the flat from the 11th of August. However, I'm away on business until the 18th of August, so wouldn't be able to move in that early. Is it possible to wait until the 1st of September and start paying rent from then? Now listen again. Hello, I'm just phoning about the flat I went to look at yesterday. I really like it and I'm planning to come in today to ask a few questions before I sign the contract. Your colleague told me it was possible to move into the flat from the 11th of August. However, I'm away on business until the 18th of August, so wouldn't be able to move in that early. Is it possible to wait until the 1st of September and start paying rent from then? That is the end of part one.